Hey guys, welcome back to Salty George for part two of World in the Rue Quarter. Okay, in part one we left off with obviously just completing this side. I still have to weld up underneath here, but as I said to you, what I need to do is uh, possibly pull out this bottom bit just to get behind here. So what I'm going to do is just replace this little patch here. Uh, and then what I'll do is obviously we'll get on and make this section here. So, right, let's crack on. Okay, first job is I've just taken this lot out because uh, obviously I've got some weird sort of shape going on here, but that's all okay. So really, I just want to sort of come around here. Uh, so I'll probably sort of cut the corner across here so it's welded. So I'll get rid of this, obviously, uh, but yeah, some weird sort of shape going on here. I don't know if you can see it better in the light. If I move around like that, there you go. You can see a bit of a weird shape, but hey, it is what it is. So I'll probably just come across here like that, maybe slit it, because it's going to be a flat panel, so I'll slit it down and fold that one over and then fold that one over. Um, but I don't need to go too high here because all this lot's all okay. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's crack on with that, as you do. Sort of George, bang in. I've just made a start on the little patch panel for the uh, for the inner um, the trunk extension. That other little bit that I need to make. Um, yeah, this basically is going to be where the, sort of like the V is going to be for that weird shape. Um, I've measured up seven eighths of an inch. Uh, to make the lip, uh, I'm just in the process of uh, folding it over now, as you do. Um, yeah, so let's crack on with that, and then we can sort of start fitting it up and see what I need to cut out and what else I got to bend, etc., etc. Right, sort of jewels. Let's crack on. Do you know what? I'll be honest with you. I know I've just I've just videoed it and all I've done is just these few taps. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go and try that as it is, you know. I'm gonna keep that as flat as possible. You know. See I made the mistake in the uh, when we was doing part one, I made the mistake of using a metal hammer because I don't know if you noticed what I, went, what I ended up doing. Let me take these off and I don't hear what I'm saying. I left hammer marks as I went down. Now, that's fine because it's a panel that's inside. It's not going to be seen, blah, blah, blah. Um, but obviously on like external panels, etc., you don't really want to... You don't really want to be using the, a metal hammer unless it's like a proper bodywork, you know, like uh, the hammer and dolly set. Um, my mistake, you learn by your mistakes. So, rubber mallet. That's a good one. Right, let's, uh, let's give that a try, shall we? Let's give it a fit up, shall we? See what it's like. Right, let's offer this up, shall we? So... I want to concentrate on this bend and see what it's like. So if I sort of place this up against here, there you go, that's going to be fine. And uh, obviously this comes up. So if I was to, bear in mind, obviously it's going to move a little bit uh, once I take this out of the way, because this now is all out of shape because of the dent. This piece here has come out and needs to go back in. So. Um, Obviously, it'd be better when this lot's out of the way. Uh, but if I was just to lay that in there, that's roughly the same distance away, like on the inner panel. Forget this. So, height wise, length wise, yeah, I can come back. Yeah, I can come right back here. So, that will be to there. So, Height wise, length wise, that'll be fine. So I've just got to bear in mind this panel is going to come over a bit. So this is where I'm going to have to cut the V, but it will be over sort of here. So what I'll do now, I'm 
I'm happy with that. If I get rid of this uh, bottom lip now, I don't think I'm going to need that anymore because this is now in place. I can take that screw out, get rid of this bottom lip, uh, yeah, fit this panel into here, but I've still got this as a guide. I think what I'll do is I'll probably just get a small bit of metal and just tack it across the bottom here, just so that I can hold that in place, so that that's not bouncing all over the place when I come to do this bit here to get this get the shape. So. I'll probably just tack, like I say, a little piece across there, just to uh, just to hold that in place for a second, and I can get rid of it later. Um, yeah, sorted. That's looking all right so far. Banging. Here we go. Right, I've done a bit of fettling, and she's in a lot better. I've drawn a line all the way around that I need to sort of cut out and uh, grind back to bare metal. Uh, I've just left this little piece in here at the moment. I'm going to shape this bit down here uh, after the fact, like once I've sort of tacked that in, I'll shape that. Uh, yeah, I've just left that in for now, just so that I've got something to go by, as it were. This is the bit I'm on about here. It's just, where are we? Here we go. It's just free there. So I'm just going to sort of tack a bit across here just to stop that moving because it's a pain in the derriere. Um, yeah, sorted, George. Right, so that'll hold it into place where I need to go. That's all lined up. That's touching down there, so that'll be nice. I'll be able to, because uh, obviously that, where are you? Because that's now gone, obviously, in underneath here. Because if you remember, I kept a section of the original, uh, what's name? So I kept a bit there, so I still had the correct shape, strength, whatever else. So that's now tucked in behind there, so... Once that's in, I can then tack this to that and obviously go all the way along because then that will be done, that will be finished. I can trim up the bottom edge after the fact because obviously I've got a nice big wide bit here and I don't need all that. So I can trim all that, like, finish that off. And then all I'm going to be left with then is obviously just this outer panel here. So, sort of George. Right, let's get grinding and tacking. Also, I've just given it a quick prime and put the old underbody protection on the outside. That's obviously going to face the elements. Uh, I haven't actually touched that side yet because obviously that's going to be on the inside and I need to use it to weld against the clear metal. So, sort of George. Right, let's crack on and uh, start grinding, shall we? Lovely. Some weldable primer in there. Yeah, it's nice and thick. Too bloody right and all. Okay, this is where we're up to at the moment. I've put the uh, panel in. Uh, I not. I rather than cut it, slit it. I actually just knocked it down with a hammer. Of that ballpoint hammer, what I was talking about, not to use earlier. <laughs> Um, yeah, I knocked that bit with the ball paint hammer down. Uh, I've welded all that down there, so that's now fine. Uh, where are we? Right, up underneath now. What I've done is... Right, I've obviously screwed these together. There's my holes for my plug welds. Uh, I've just sort of like tidied that up a bit. I've got to sort of tidy it up a bit more. There you go. Um, what I should do is clamp uh, right next to these. Where's my thumb? There you go. I'll clamp right next to these and then plug weld. Uh, can you see in there? You can't see in there. Actually, I can pick it up with the light, but... Oh, there you go. You can see it now. There you go. It's right next to it. But what I'll do, I'll clamp like both sides to bring that in and weld. Same again with that one, etc. Um, so then that's all welded in. Uh, and then, like I say, all I've got to do then is just concentrate on the this outer panel here. So, right, sort with George, let's crack on. 
Okay, this is where we're at at the moment. I've done the uh, screw hole and obviously the plug weld there, the plug weld there, still got the screw in. Uh, this is what I'm doing here now, I'm just about to do that one. As you can see, I don't have any special sort of metal work clamps or anything like that. I've just got some, well, I can't remember what they call them now, but basically they're like a woodwork clamp rather than the metal work. So, um, and I've got these tiny, tiny little vice grips, but do you know what? It don't matter because it does the job. So this is where we're up to at the moment. And uh, I'll come back when we've uh, tacked it all in. So George. Okay, here we go. We're all uh, plug welded into place. Uh, the uh, that's the wheel lip, obviously wheel arch, uh, and then obviously down underneath. So what I'm going to do now is just grind them all off. So sort with George. See you in a bit. Okay, and there we are. We've got the uh, wheel lip plug welded, ground down. You can see the hole in the boot that I got to sort out now. Uh, and there's another little piece over there. Um, yeah, back to the wheel lip. Right, there you go, plug weld. They've been ground down. They don't need to be 100% tidy. Um, at the end of the day, it's underneath. So, but obviously the more welds you keep on there, the stronger it is. So there you go, that's uh, that's the new inner lip. And uh, yeah, sorted short. There you go, that's, uh, that's what we're up to at the moment. So yeah, so all this lot now is all nice and strong. That's in there. That ain't going anywhere. Look, you can see it pulling on this one here. So that's in there nice and strong. That'll be good once it's had a coat of paint. Lovely. Little bit of filler, like I say, in there. Uh, yeah, sorted, George. That's that one for the inside in. And uh, I've just basically sort of tacked a, a weld across there just to keep that in place because that was moving and I need that for the shape. So uh, I was having another nose at this bit, and to be fair, that uh, the rolled edge, actually the damage, believe it or not, only seems to be about that much on this. It's a shame I might even get away with just uh, grinding it all out and maybe put a bit of filler in there because all oh, this lot's all okay, you know? There's a little bit of a lump down there where that's pushed it up, but that'll go back down. And the rest of it's all fine, so, don't know. Do I do that? Yeah, go on, why not? Gives me a bit of experience, doesn't it? Why not, eh? Salt with George? Right, let's, uh, let's crack on. There you go, and that's just given that a prime and a undercoat inside, just shows that it's done. I'm going to go in and have a certain week now, as you do. Sort of George. Right, see in a bit. Okay, I've had a measure. We've got uh, 13 inches by, including the lip, coming up to about here is uh, 10, just over 10 inches, about 10, 10 and a half inches. So I don't mind having a bit of extra down there. That's uh, weldable primer, and then I put the undercoat on. Uh, but yeah, because obviously like when that bit tucks under on again i need to plug weld so i need weldable primer on that one so as you do right so i've measured it out i've got uh 13 by 10 that's right yeah yeah that's right because it's 13 long and uh 10 deep right let's get on and uh, cut this out away we go Okay, we got our piece cut out. Now this front edge here is uh, like the factory cut from, you know, like from the sheet steel as it were, like, you know what I mean? So this is an edge that I've cut, uh, but that's the factory one. So because I know that that is a real nice straight and true edge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that up against this one because I know that that is the same, even though I've cuffed it, but never mind, I ain't worried about that. Um, but yeah, that edge there is the, again, the factory edge. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got a piece of metal over there that literally just fits in between these two nipples here, which is for the trim. 
uh, and rather than sort of mess about with all that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a practice on this uh, to get that curve, um, to get this curve in. I want to see whether or not I can get that one in as well as obviously the body. I want to make sure that I can do this as well uh, before I cut it out and whatever else. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a practice on that with that scrap first just to see how it comes out because it's a bit of a tighter curve. And I've got another um, pole to use, but it's a bit tighter, it's a bit thinner. I don't know whether it's going to be strong enough, and I don't want to mess that piece up, as it were. You know what I mean? So, sort with yours. Right, let's crank on, see where it goes. Okay, I had a quick go with that little piece, and uh, it wasn't too bad, actually. It fitted all right. So, uh, what I've got now, I'll tell you what, let's see if I can hold that up. No, because I got me hand behind it, but never mind. I got me hand behind it, so it's not going to show properly. But what I got now is uh, I've cut this piece out, as I said. I've got that edge to line up as best I can there without it clipping and all the rest of it. I think what I'm going to do is just channel the uh, holes out just a fraction so that that panel can move that way. Uh, just to tighten that up a little bit, uh, and then what I'll do is um, I can put the uh, put the curve in there and see how we get on. Sort with George. Here we go. And this is where we're up to at the moment. We've got uh, a bit more of a curve put in there. So at the moment, that's going to hang on. Let me get my uh, bearings with this camera. There you go. Right. So that will join, and then obviously as I start tacking. That will press in place nicely up to there. Lovely. And then obviously I will cut this piece out because uh, it was on the crown, wasn't it? So I'll probably go from that mark there across to that mark, cut that out. Uh, that way then, I'm, like I said, I'm not touching the uh, little nipples for the um, trim clips. Uh, yeah, this one, that's uh, nicely in there as well, 99.9%. .9%. Like I say, once it gets sort of cut out, I can uh, adjust. And you can just see from the top, you might be able to see it there with the shadow. There you go. So I just need to uh, knock that little bit out there from inside uh, so that that can meet. So... I'm happy with that at the moment. Uh, like I say, you've got, I've got to cut that in because that's not going to go back any further, but uh, the rest of it will be fine. That'll be all right, that will. And then uh, that'll be up there nicely. I can pull that bit out in a minute. So, uh, and then after after uh, I've done that, I'll tell you what, I'll mark that up there and I shall mark it here. And then I know, obviously, where I've got to bend it over for the bottom. Right, sort with George. It's uh, getting a bit dark out there now. So uh, I'll call it a night on that one. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Sort with George. Okay, here we are back at it again. I've now ground out the paint for uh, where my panel is going to go. Uh, I've got it lined up pretty good i'm well pleased with it um <clears throat> excuse me um yeah right let's uh let's get to it shall us as you do sort of george okay i've just had about half hours worth of fettling as you do uh i've got this one clamped in at the moment obviously it, i mean it, it does move at the moment um as you can see there it does move but that is going to be nice and flush all the way as you do what i'm going to do is i've marked it up i'm going to cut just up here to that corner so that this can fit into that because obviously it fits into that but not this bit uh <clears throat> let's move that back over Right, that is going to sit nicely on there all the way up, as you do. 
sorted George, you'll have to excuse my uh, nail Clico as you do. And I've had a bit of a fettling on top of here because this was sort of curved in a bit like that. So uh, I've just managed to get that edge out so that that's nice and flush along there too. So just needs a little bit more there if I could, but I don't think I will without upsetting all this lot. Um, yeah, so there you go. Right, sorted George. Um, let's have a go at uh, welding that patch in, shall us? Here we go. Oh, is that not fast enough? Let's turn that up a bit, shall we? Try that again. Is that better? Let me just show you what I've got at the moment. This is obviously the uh, two factory edges joining up. Let's go down, there you go. That's where I cuffed on the right hand side last time. That is nice and tight all the way down. That's lovely and obviously we curl around underneath. So, and if I can get, look at that. I am well chuffed with that join there as well. Look at that, that's gonna be nice and flush all the way along the bottom there, that's good. And if you look at the overall shape, That's uh, same as uh, on the other side. Same as on the other side. Look at that. Oh, I am well pleased with that. That's good. Uh, do you know what? I think what I might do is just is cut that in and do that. So basically, both sides are done. I've then just got to work that in. I think that's probably going to be my best bet is to see what is touching first and then do that bit and then do that bit or something daft like that, you know what I mean? Because, um, yeah, I've got a right funny shape going on over here. Because of the where the dent was, the peak of the dent is uh, kind of like here, as it were. So that's why I go up at an angle, because of the peak of the dent and I wanted to get rid of it. So... Uh, yeah, sorted George. And this is where we're up to now. What I've done is I've cut this one in. Uh, again, a bit of bird shit welding, whatever else. I don't know whether it's my welder because I really don't know how old that old girl is. I think it's just crappy old metal. You know what I mean? There's still a bit of a rust old air. Um, I didn't want to take it out to the edge. Uh, Fill her get that. Uh, I shall tidy up this down here after the fact. I think what I can do now is get rid of that uh, weld, that bridge there. I can get rid of that so that can come out to meet that and shape it accordingly. What I've now done is I've cut around all of this all the way. Excuse me, pardon me. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to see if I push that in. There you go, that is a lovely tight, look at that, that's lovely, all the way. And uh, yeah, that's going to meet up lovely, all the way. Sorted George, that's good. Um, what I'd like to do though is do the middle first and then work my way out. I don't, I don't want to do this end and work my way in and then have a bit of a peak kind of thing, you know what I mean? I'd rather go in there and work out because I got a bit of a little little bits of gap I could lose it there or maybe lose it on the end I mean underneath here is where the trim is anyway so it doesn't matter um, but yeah that's where we're up to now so I'm just going to tack across the top there and see how we get on so with George okay that's where we're up to now uh, I like obviously like I've welded all the way along uh, yeah we ain't too bad along now I mean all right where are we there? Obviously, I've missed one there, a gap, but you can see how close it is. You know what I mean? That is right up against it, which I am all well pleased. So, when I come out here tomorrow, 
Uh, first things first, obviously I shall grind all that lot back and see what it's like. Uh, like I said, I want to get rid of this bridge um, and sort that out as well. Um, so yeah, we're not far off now, I reckon. Um, yeah, sort it, George. Laters. Right, we're back out here again. I've ground all that lot off now. Uh, that is where that got so hot, obviously, like with welding. That's actually pulled that in, unfortunately. But never mind, it is what it is. Filler, I'll take that up. Uh, yeah, not too bad along here. A uh, bit of piss poor metal down here, unfortunately. But I know I burnt through in a few places. But uh, I managed to sort of get it back a little bit. But that's very thin, poor metal there, unfortunately. But never mind, it's not the best. Um, but hey, for the first attempt, mate, I am well happy with that. Well chuffed. So... Uh, I'm happy to uh, just put filler in all that lot. I just need to sort out this corner down here now. I'll get the focus, here we go. I just need to push that in and, uh, what do you call it? The plug welder up underneath. So that'll take care of that corner in there. So that'll bring that in, that'll be nice. Um, yeah, that's, uh, we're getting there, mate. We're certainly getting there, you know what I mean? Um, like I say, First attempt, isn't it, to make all this? You know what I mean? So, ain't doing too bad. I'm happy. Hope you are. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Be honest. <laughs> Cheers. Right, let's uh, let's crack on. Okay, we've uh, sorted out up underneath here now. Got some plug welds going on, uh, etc. Where are we? There, there, there. Uh, this is now all solid, that corner, that's all tidied up nice now, etc. As you do, so uh, yeah, that ain't going nowhere. So I think the uh, I think the next job is uh, I've got to get underneath there. <coughs> excuse me, I've got to get underneath there and just trim off that excess lip, uh, excess of the lip, is it where it folds underneath? Uh, and then, yeah, really just have a sort of tidy up, clean up and um, start filling. So uh, that's the job for the weekend. I'll be out here all day Saturday, so that'll be right. Um, yeah, sort with George. See you in a bit. Okay, next morning what I've done, I've given this, uh, you can see the old uh, uh, panel wipe drip <laughs> drying off. I've uh, just given that a scuff down with 80 grit, as you do. And uh, I'm just going to put, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fiberglass filler in here, this these bits here first, um, and that bit up there, uh, and then I shall fill the rest. So, uh, yeah, right, we're just uh, just about to make a start, as you do. Here we go. Sort of, George, bang in. Okay, just put a little bit in there, as you do. Just small bits. Uh, it's only just to... Uh, fill up the holes uh, where I welded that was all uh, I ended up actually getting probably more on my hands than what I did on the uh, what's name um, yeah note to self don't mix up so much there's a ton there left over and I don't need it it's always oh, lovely and warm keep my hands warm um, yeah you only need a little bit of it don't go too mad because uh, you end up wasting it <laughs> as you saw so I'm gonna wait for that to dry give it a rub down Get rid of all the stringy edges and everything else, then I'll put some um and I'll put some body filler in there. Sort of George, bang it. Okay, there's first fill. I've uh, obviously gone along where the welds are and the bit in the middle. What I should probably end up doing is I don't know whether I'm gonna fill the whole lot, but I'd certainly like to fill this area here because of that dip. I want to make sure. I know it's only going to be fag paper thin, you know, cigarette paper thin, but I want to make sure that it's going to be nice and smooth over there. So uh, I'll probably do a second fill to cover all of that lot, as it were, and then go from there. So it might seem a lot, but believe me, it's not. It's just to take out the imperfections. I mean, at the end of the day, you might think it's a lot, but if you ever watch things like... Um, I know I'm going to go to the extreme here, but like, you know, things like chip feast and all that sort of stuff, like, you know, they literally cover the whole body. 
with filler and then flat it down with a long block and all the rest of it so you might think oh it's a lot of filler but it ain't that's what they do and i'm not a professional or anything like that i certainly don't claim to be because i'm not but i do know you know give it a good fill and then use a long block uh should give you a nice uh, nice straight finish so like i say at the end of the day it only ends up being you know cigarette paper thin so sort of george right i'm going to give that a quick rub down with a bit of 80 80 grip uh, and then put a second coat on right here we are i've just i've given it a good rub down and there's one or two little places that uh, are just getting missed as it were so this is my third fill now um and i keep miss i keep forgetting about up around there uh, so i've just put a bit in there um these bits here i weren't getting uh when i was rubbing down so and like that where are you that little bit there so yeah so this is actually a third fill but like i say it's not going to be a lot considering the amount of welding that's gone into that and etc etc that's not a lot i don't have a uh you know long block my long block is like yay long kind of thing like you know what i mean so and it's only a bit of wood like i say i ain't a professional i don't have professional tools I'm just using what I've got around the garage, simple as, uh, and I'm doing my best. We see what it comes out like at the end, but uh, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Um, like I say, I've um, just got to wait for that to go off, and then uh, I can give that a rub down and, and see how we get on. Sort of, George. Right, back with you in a bit. Okay, I've given it a rub down, as you do. Uh, as you can see, I've got a hang on, right. I've got a couple of high spots there. I'm not worried. At the end of the day, like I said, this ain't a show car. It's a daily driver. And also, it's my first attempt. Uh, I don't have a long block. Uh, yeah. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to be happy with that. At the end of the day, what I have done is I've taken out the rust. I've got rid of all the rust and I've put in new metal. So... You know, she's 49 years old, I know. I mean, look, you can see in the light, yeah, there's a dent there. There's one up there, look. You know, there's, there's battle scars all over the place. My sole intention here was to take out the rust, and that's what I've done. So I know there's going to be a few little, you know, ripple imperfections, whatever else, but I can live with that. I can live with that. The main thing is the rust has gone. Right, let's... Uh, I'm going to give this a wipe down with spirit wipe and uh, give it a couple of coats of primer uh, and go from there. Sort of, George. Bang it. Okay, a couple of coats of primer later. You can see I've got the odd imperfection here. They're both uh, below the uh, trim clip, but actually they're showing up worse on camera than what they are in real life, as it were. See, that looks like a real bad dent or something, but I ain't. It's not, it's just where it's dark and the light is catching it, causing a shadow. So, but there you go. That's uh, where we're up to at the moment. So, uh, yeah, sorted, George. Right, let's uh, crack on. I think, I think I'm going to put grey primer over that because that's filler primer. So I'm going to give it a coat of grey primer over the top because I'm sure it should be grey, this colour. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, then give it a day, you know, let it dry and, and give it a, Wet rub down, smooth off, and then uh, top coat. Sort with George, bang in. Okay, I've given it a rub down, spirit wipe off, blah, blah, blah. And that is just one pass with the uh, colour. It obviously is covering a down sight better with the grey than what it was with the yellow primer. So, uh, yeah, my mistake. I should have used grey last time, but hey, never mind. It's, uh, yeah, that's a real good... Real good cover on that. I'm pleased with that. And that's just one coat. So, sort with George. Let's crack on. Bang in, mush. Okay, third coat. Not looking too bad. A little bit of an imperfection going on in there, as you do. But, uh, yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah, there's another one down there. So, uh, it's, only where the, it's not grey. It's only where the light's catching it, that's all. It is the colour. They're just like little dots 
in the filler that's all so it's not actually grey don't panic but uh, yeah not bad not bad I'm chuffed I'm pleased just gonna uh, give it a couple of minutes and then put some uh, put some lacquer on it sort with George bang in right lacquer give it a dust coat first just to uh, let the rest of the lacquer uh, grip to it Right, coat number two. Here we go. So with George, that's good. Gone a bit heavy there, I bet that runs. What do you reckon? Oh, please don't run, please don't run, please don't run. Yeah, it's gonna run, I've seen it. Near bother, it is what it is. Not to worry. Right, sorted George, there she is all done. Sorry I didn't film any more of the uh, what you call it, uh, lacquering, but there were some people outside making a noise. So, uh, yeah, you can just see an imperfection there in the light. So I can get it. There you go. Imperfection there. So, but I'm happy. It is what it is. So, uh, yeah, sorted, George. Bang in. Right. Lovely. And there she is, all unmasked, job jobbed. That uh, grey line there is basically on top of the uh, the trim. Uh, hopefully, I've lost it beyond the trim. I think I might have gone a little bit too high, but never mind. Uh, thankfully, as well, that didn't run. I'm pleased about that. That was good. Uh, yeah, nice blending with the colour over here. And then I took the lacquer out a little bit further out there. So... Yeah, sorted, George. I'm well happy with that. That's good. I know you can certainly see a colour difference, but obviously when the trim's there, it won't be too bad. So, yeah. Right. Let's turn that round the other way. And uh, get, get... Hang on. Let me turn that light off. That's better. There you go. Not too bad, is it? Like I say, a couple of imperfections, but I am not worried about that. All up underneath there is all done. Wheel arch, etc. Next job, I think, is going to be the uh, going to be the trunk floor. So there you go. I'm well happy. Right, and there she is, all done. Uh, I've just hung the trim on via these uh, like the little nipples because um, unfortunately, when uh, I was trying to clean it and everything else. All of these, uh, what have we got? I've got one decent one and then that's it. All the rest of the trim clips. Decided to go in bits, unfortunately, but never mind. It is what it is. So I've got to get some new trim clips for that, but never mind. Um, yeah, so there you go. And what I'm doing now, I've just put a pump. This has got air suspension on the back, as in, you know, somebody's put air shocks on them. Uh, I haven't tried them yet. I've just set up the pump and everything else. So let's see if they work. Fingers crossed. You'll find out when I find out. Simple as. Get your fingers crossed. Hopefully it'll work. Right. See if that goes up. She's moving. Yeah, she's going up. 
I got the PSI set to 60. It does say 200 max, but I didn't want to take the Mickey just in case it went bang. Well, that's working, that's good. Sort of George, air shops work as well. Look at that, sorted. There you go. Oh, I'm pleased about that, that's good. Sort with George, right. Pull that off. Oh, I'm well chuffed. <laughs> Even the air shops work. Well, there you go. Like I said, I'll have to get some uh, trim clips, get them sent over from the States as you do but uh, there she is all done and all the uh, rust is gone and we got on new metal right thanks ever so much for watching and this uh, two-part series i know um like share subscribe if you wouldn't mind and uh, i hope this was helpful to you at least somebody like i say at the end of the day if i can do it you guys can do it you know i'm only mr diy destroy it yourself you know so I hope it helps somebody out. You don't need all the expensive hundreds and hundreds of pounds or dollars, whatever, wherever you are watching. You don't need all that equipment. Just use a pipe and, you know, grips, bits of wood, rubber mallet, you know. It's not a professional job. I get it. It's not, uh, you know, an auto body shop type standard, but it's, good enough and it's got rid of all of the rust you know if you want that kind of a finish and you don't have the ability then obviously spend out but if you want to have a go at it it's easy isn't it sorted george see you next time thanks ever so much for watching laters